Hi, grade five. Today's grammar lesson is called combining sentences, subject, and object pronouns. So we know what subject pronouns are. We know what uh, object pronouns are also. Today, we're going to learn how to combine them. So look here in the a box of rules we have an example he thought of forming a committee she thought of forming a committee we can combine these two subject pronouns to change it to they so he and she means they thought of forming a committee you can use one plural subject pronoun to replace these singular pronouns or you can join the pronouns with and to create a compound subject in either case the verb will take a plural form so here, I want the job, and we have the other sentence, she wants the job. We can combine this to write, she and I want the job, or we want the job. So both of these are correct. You can also combine sentences when object pronouns share the same action. Replace the singular pronouns with a plural object pronoun, like us or them, to create a compound subject. So here, look at the example. The job was given to her. The job was given to me. It is correct to write the job was given to her and me, so a compound uh, object, or we can write the job was given to us. Okay, name the compound subject pronoun or the object or the compound, sorry, object pronoun in each sentence. Here's an example. He and she held the first meeting. Here our compound subject is he and she. Number one, the meeting was led by her and him. Her and him is the compound uh, object in this sentence. Com compound object pronouns. Number two, he and I took notes on the discussion. He and I are the pronouns. Number three, she and he listened to our ideas. She and he are the pronouns. Number four, you and they can join the committee. Two, you and they are the pronouns. Number five, she and I had an idea. She and I are the pronouns in this sentence. All right, next page, 353. Write the compound subject pronouns or compound object pronouns in each sentence. So again, same directions. She and he write some of our ideas. The answer here is she and he, and this is a compound subject. Number seven, the class gives ideas to her and me. Her and me are the compound object pronouns. Number eight, she and I report to the committee. She and I are the compound subject pronouns. Number nine, you and we think the meetings are fun. You and we are compound subject pronouns. Number 10, he and they want to join. He and they are compound subject pronouns as well. Part B, combine each pair of sentences by forming compound subjects or objects. Number 11, she works on the committee. He works on the committee. The answer would be she and he work. And notice how we um, change the verb. Okay, the verb must take a plural form. She and he work on the committee. So it must agree. Number 12, he told us an idea, she told us an idea, he and she told us an idea. Number 13, you agree with their plan, I agree with their plan, you and I agree with their plan. Number 14, she plans the menu, we plan the menu, she and we plan the menu. Number 15, they are happy about the change, I am happy about the change, they and I are happy about the change. All right, now we're going to move to page 72 in your language arts practice workbook. Again, remember we can combine two sentences that have pronouns to form compound subjects and compound objects. A compound subject can have two pronouns with the same predicate. And remember the subject pronouns and verbs must agree. She thinks guinea pigs are cute. I think guinea pigs are cute. It must be think here because here we have the compound subject. The verb must be plural since our subject is now plural. She and I think guinea pigs are cute. So here underline the compound subject pronouns or compound object pronouns in the sentence. You and I speak to a group of students about pet guinea pigs. You and I is the compound subject. You and, you and I, sorry, are the compound subject pronouns. 
Number two, two students have questions for you and me. You and me are compound object pronouns. Number three, she and he want to know what things to buy. These are compound subject pronouns. Number four, Josh gives a list of supplies to her and him. Her and him are compound object pronouns. Number five, the boy asks you and me about costs. You and me are object compound object pronouns. How do we know? They follow or they come after the verb. They are the object pronouns. Part B, circle the pronouns in each pair of sentences, then use the pronouns to complete the compound subject or compound object in the new sentence. Remember to change the verb form if needed. So again, the verb must agree with the subject. He smiles at my guinea pig. I smile at my guinea pig. We're going to circle he and I and write he and I smile at my guinea pig. Number seven, she thanks us for the information. He thanks us for the information. She and he thank us for the information. So notice how here we wrote thank, right? Because now we have a plural subject. We must have a plural verb. Number eight, we invite her to call us for help. We invite him to call us for help. We invite her and him to call us for help. Number nine, other students ask you for the number. Other students ask me for the number. Other students ask you and me for the number. Number 10, you love to learn about them. I love to learn about them. Circle you and I, you and I love to learn about them.